Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to Fermius Reads and today we are doing an edition called Book to Movie Comparison where I read the books and watch the movies so you don't have to. This is where we're going to go through and we're actually going to go through and see all the differences between the book and the movie as well as like my personal opinion on whether or not the changes made like affected the quality in any kind of way. Today the book to movie comparison that we're doing is Spiderhead which was originally written as a short story and has now been adapted as a movie feature on Netflix. The plot of Spiderhead remains mostly the same. In it there is a prison known colloquially as the Spiderhead prison to all the workers and like the prisoners there where the prisoners there applied for this program because it allows for more lenient sentencing and allows for more like free range, free roaming prison. But in order to participate in this program, they have to agree to basically be human guinea pigs for drug trials. Specifically, these various drug trials that um, affect your moods and basically how your brain interprets things. Overall, the plot stays pretty much the same in both the book and the movie. And most of the differences that I found really were just the ones that kind of expanded upon this world. I think in this scenario, it was a good idea to do that because really Spiderhead as itself was just a really short story. Um, it didn't really give a lot of insight. It didn't really have like a lot of plot, like the plot was there, but there wasn't a lot of it. There wasn't a lot that just looking at the bare bones of it, you could make a movie out of, which is why I think it's been such a long time and no one's really ever tried it. So that's where most of the differences come from. Um, in the story Spiderhead, there is no love interest which is not which is something you find in the movie there is a love interest we do not get to see the day-to-day -day lives of prisoners and how they interact with each other unlike in the movie where really they get to go in and expand upon how these prisoners interact what they do and how the prison runs these are all things that we don't see in the story because we're only seeing from the main character jeff his perspective like there isn't any knowledge that's being shared with him about what's going on with the outside world and he doesn't really go to seek any of that knowledge either that's another difference is Jeff in the story is very laid back. He just wants to just have his sentence. Like he's not really investigating. He's not really curious about his surroundings. He just wants to get through the day to day of being in prison. And because we're limited to his perspectives, we don't know a lot about the goings on inside the spider head. We don't know a lot about like the main uh, director, Steven Mes Amnesty. We don't even know if he's the main director in the story. In the movie, it's implied that he runs the company. It's his company. But in the story, he's just kind of like your average uh, scientist who's running these trials. The biggest difference in the short story to the movie is how the story ends. Um, so spoilers if you haven't read the story yet. This isn't really going to affect if you watch the movie or not because it com ends completely different. But in the story, it's actually Jeff who dies. Jeff is forced in a situation where he has to decide if he wants to administer this really negative, terrible drug that makes you live basically your worst nightmare to one of two people that he's interacted with in other drug trials. Instead of choosing to have one of the people ingest this drug, he instead chooses to ingest it himself, but at a lethal level. And it's kind of implied that at this point, he's not cognitively aware enough because he's ingested so many drugs. He's not cognitively aware enough to be making any decisions, but that's kind of the point of the trial he was going through. It's really interesting. It's an interesting look at kind of like private prisons and how they can like abuse and manipulate prisoners who just maybe either want to shorten their sentence or want an easier life in prison um, and how they'll take advantage of that because they really don't have any rights in the prison system. And in the story, it really kind of highlights that. The biggest difference is when it comes to adapting the story to the movie is that the story is very limited. Like we have a limited perspective. We don't see a lot of what's happening outside of Jeff's own little world. And there isn't really any insight from Jeff or really any curiosity about why the spider head is doing what they're doing. Now in the movie, I personally really enjoyed the movie. I thought the movie was great. I really like how they took the short story and expanded it and it still felt pretty true to the nature of the story. The biggest differences when looking at the movie and what they added was not only did they add um, the perspective of everybody else involved in the prison, but we get to see more prisoners. We get to see the love interest in this story and we get to see like Jeff is interacting with everybody in the prison um, as well as like the day-to-day -day life of the prison, how it's running. And honestly, it sounds like when you listen to the movie, like if you just took away all like the horrible parts of it and just looked at the prison aspect, it 
sounds like one of those like Norwegian prisons where there's like, ah, there's like a foosball tournament and everybody has free roam living areas and all of this stuff. But besides that, besides getting to see more of the inside of the prison and adding the love interest, there's also more underlying suspense, right? In the movie, Jeff is more interested in what's happening. He wants to know what these drugs are, he wants to know why they're being administered, and he just has questions. It's also different that the guy who's running the program, well, one, we know that he's running the program, and his name is Steve Amnesty, and he's also self-ingesting the drugs to give himself kind of like a high, and he's using the one that basically, I forget what it's called, but it's basically like the one that makes you extremely happy and laugh all the time. So we get to see that he's ingesting the drugs. We get to see outside of the prison and how they take the prisoners there outside of the prison to test their drugs on the outside world and see how it affects them in their day to day uh, when they interact with society. Another thing that they added in the movie was flashbacks for the characters, which was interesting and more in depth, like this is what each character did. Um, this is why they're here. And really you start connecting with them more. It's, it's hard to connect with them in the story because Jeff doesn't really care about them, but Jeff in the movie cares about some of them. He has connections with some of them and you get to start seeing more of their personalities because they're shown more and we see them outside of just Jeff's limited perspective. Another thing that I thought was really cool was they actually, they changed Jeff's story. They changed the reason that he was in prison in the first place. In the, in the short story, he's in prison because he beat one of his friends to death. Um, and he gets a phone call from his mom um, and his mom is still alive and involved in his life. I guess in Miles Teller's personal life when he was younger he was in a really bad car crash that left him with uh, permanent facial scars and so in this movie you really see those scars and I mean they might have been enhanced with makeup or something like that but they also changed Jeff's backstory to be in um, that he was involved in a drunk driving accident that killed his best friend and his girlfriend. That's one thing that I noticed as well that they changed was his background in the short story and then his background in the movie. Um, but I personally, I also didn't mind that so much because I felt like it led to more of a connection with Miles Teller like playing Jeff because it felt like they really pulled from his personal life and implemented it in the story. So it felt more personal and it made more of a connection that I guess trying to translate the other um, background would have. And then biggest difference is the ending, right? So I'm not going to spoil anything too much, but I will say that in the ending, in the short story, that Jeff is the one who dies. But the ending in Spiderhead instead leads to like, it's more open-ended, it kind of feels like there's a form of justice brought about and it's just, com it expands where the other Spiderhead story concluded, right? So I feel like there was definitely not enough to maybe make a spinoff of it, but definitely enough to really, really just kind of make you feel like it was a good ending overall for everybody. So, and I personally really liked the movie ending. Then this is the last big thing that I noticed was the way that they um, handled the drugs that they were testing, right? So in the story, it's just kind of applied that these are just general drugs, like they're not, there's no deeper purpose to them. But in the movie, um, it's kind of implied that there is, the drugs aren't so much the test, the purpose of testing them, but there's another underlying thing that they're testing for as well. And that's what they're searching to find. And that's what these, that's why these human trials are so important. Um, so I won't give too much away because without, I like without really just spoiling the whole thing, like I can't really say much other than that. But there, that was another big difference was how they handled the drugs and how it differed from the story to the movie plotline. Overall, I feel like all the changes they made to Spiderhead, like this was one where I appreciated the changes because it was able to take something that was short and enjoyable and turn it into like a full-fledged movie. Like they were able to expand it in a way that still felt true to the story and true to what the overall purpose of the short story was, but they just added things to make it more full. They filled it out a little bit more. I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments down below if you've read spiderhead or if you've just watched the movie or if you've done both like me let me know what you thought of it i would love to hear from you guys that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later okay bye